what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so as of this recording this video is getting posted today sometime today uh, i'm recording this as of wednesday night i just saw it chapter two the follow-up to warner brothers hit 2017 horror film it which was adapted both films are adapted from one of stephen king's best-selling novels titled it the novel itself is over a thousand one hundred and fifty pages it's probably even more than that i haven't read that book since i was about 10 or 11 years old but getting into what my whole thought process is about both movies as a whole i think both of these are very well made adaptations of his of stephen king's novel the first film i believe is is a more effective adaptation compared to this one however it chapter two while it is still flawed while it's flawed it is still very effective in being a satisfying end and also because the story is a bit incoherent at times but it chapter two is still going to be very enjoyable for those who have seen the last installment and for those who love the book it is a solid conclusion to one of the best coming of age stories that i can remember because i haven't read because i love movies like stand by me and the goonies and all of that stuff i'm a big fan of stranger things so films and stories like this about conquering your fears and growing up and how scary it can be from transitioning from childhood to adulthood there's something that's just so inspiring about them and i think it chapter two does a great job at being a worthy conclusion to the story of the losers club so as we know the films revolve around uh six or seven group of friends who are from the town of Derry, maine the, the story said in the fictional town of Derry, maine they find themselves uh caught in the grasp of a shape-shifting entity that primarily goes by the appearance of a clown named pennywise he feeds off the fear of the inhabitants of the town mostly children pennywise has been in the town for several billions of years he crash landed on the town a few years ago if you're familiar with the novel you know this but getting into it chapter two it chapter two picks up 27 years after the losers last encounter with pennywise now that pennywise has returned they have returned to Derry to fulfill the oath they all agreed upon 27 years ago that if it ever came back they would come back and put it to bed once and for all so back to direct is andy muschietti uh, the only writer that returns from the previous film is Gary Doberman. Gary Doberman, while the screenplay he wrote is very heartwarming, it has several moments that will scare you. And there's very, 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 very several intense sequences uh, in this screenplay. There is also a lot of repetitive stuff. For instance, uh, just to get into minor spoilers, for instance, there are just some scenes that they just go on a lot longer than they should have. And I think that has a lot more to do with the way muschietti directed some of the scenes they just feel the pacing is kind of a little bit all over the place but then the writing kind of is incoherent it's not as crisp or consistent there's a lot of plot inconsistencies in this film i'll just say that off the bat uh there's a lot of contradictions that come and go and some things just won't add up at the end with like some of the logistics of it all but the movie is still effective because of the amazing cast that's in it. I have never seen a better well-rounded group of adult an adult cast to portray um, younger to to, pre, to portray the older versions of the younger personas that we saw in the original film because if you actually sit down to most people these adult losers who were casted could pass as the actual grown-up versions of the kids that played them in the 2017 film they the ca the casting is just amazing everybody in the film does an amazing job with their performance particularly J bill Hader. he stands out he is a scene he steals literally every scene he's in in my opinion do i think he's oscar worthy no so some of the stuff i'm reading about him being oscar worthy i do not agree with but he gives an amazing performance and he steals literally every scene he is involved in james mcavoy is an amazing add to the cast obviously since he is one of the better actors being finally getting his due due to his involvement with split and glass uh jessica chastain she actually does an amazing job in this movie everyone involved they're just very believable to watch on screen the chemistry between them is still existing it's not as strong as it was of course watching a group of young teens uh run away in fear of a shape-shifting thing that takes the appearance of a clown but the chemistry between the adult cast is also there the dialogue is a bit wonky and kind of cheesy and some of the visual effects are they don't look like they have they don't look like they were entirely finished they look kind of rushed so like if you've seen the first film you know that a lot of the issues people had with it was that 
Pennywise and his gaping mouth, some of that just looked absolutely ridiculous. There's like a few more shots of that. So you have double the ridiculousness in that aspect. And then some of the, uh, just some of the animations in the CGI, because the CGI is in full effect here because they had to de-age the, the, uh, some of the losers to make them look younger because the younger cast had aged and you can clearly see it on some of them. But at the same time, the, the CGI for them, as far as like de-aging them, I think was very effective because I couldn't tell. The issue with the CGI comes in some of the forms Pennywise takes, his uh, gaping mouth and just some of the ways it come across. It. It's supposed to be terrifying, but it looks ridiculous at the end of the day because it doesn't look like it's done it, it doesn't look like i'm supposed to take it serious but the score the same person returns to add the score i can't think of their name right now and the score once again like just like the original it perfectly accompanies literally every frame in the film it's beautiful terrifying charming bill skarsgård as pennywise i absolutely love what he does with this character he literally is having fun portraying this unhinged menacing shape-shifting entity that is here to cause nothing but mischief and terror in the town of Derry. He just, he takes this role and he makes it his own. I'm, I'm sorry, but I have to say that after what he did here and in the first film, he, he is better than Tim Curry. He, he just is. He's, he has a lot more to do. He's being offered a lot more to do. And when you're having more opportunities, of course, I'm going to take your opportunities into consideration. And just based off of what he did here, I have to say that he did a better job than Tim Curry in the miniseries. Although Tim Curry, I appreciate what he did, but Bill Skarsgård, he is just the he does a perfect job portraying Pennywise. Uh, it Chapter 2, like I mentioned, has a few plot inconsistencies and several things that will not add up properly if you're actually paying attention to what you're watching. Uh, there are several references to things from the book that don't make it on screen in a physical form outside of a, outside of a particular ritual that I'm sure many of you are familiar with if you've read the last half of the book. Uh, but just like the book itself, It Chapter 2 isn't as good as the first half it's just a very well done final cap off it's beautifully acted the characters the character investment is there because a lot of the film relies a lot on the nostalgia of the kids of the adult losers youth there's several flashbacks that go back to the summer of 1989 to build that investment again for the characters but outside of that the adult losers themselves don't really have that much development and it, maybe a little bit of that is attributed is attributed to the fact to illustrate how these these grown adults cannot move on and cannot further develop until they conquer their fears but those are my thoughts on it chapter two i love this movie on a scale of one to ten i'm going to give it a seven out of ten it's very flawed it has a lot of issues but there's still so much that works for it if you haven't already make sure you subscribe it's on a post notification so you never miss a video if you've seen it chapter two let me know what you think about it down in the comment section below um in the description i'll leave links to all my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video